3DS Max has a robust interface. Across the top, we have our drop-down menus, as well as the main menu bar. And that main menu bar gives us tools that we're gonna use every single day, from undos, linking tools, selection, move, rotate, and scale, snapping, and other tool sets that we're gonna use on a day-to-day -day basis. The viewports can be navigated using either the view cube or the hotkeys of alt and middle mouse button for orbiting, or control alt middle mouse button for zooming or just using the stepped zoom wheel and the middle mouse button for panning. On the left hand side we have menus that allow us access to the Arnold rendering system. This tool sets built into 3ds Max and allows for excellent high quality renders to be created. To the left of the viewport we have the scene explorer where we can manage our scenes with layers and renaming objects. We can also inspect the hierarchies of those objects, as well as changing them by dragging and dropping objects. On the right side, we have the command panel. We have the create panel, where we can create objects of any type, modify panel, where we can modify those objects and add modifiers from the modifier list, as well as the hierarchy panel, motion panel, display panel, and a tools panel for extended tool sets. Below the viewport is the timeline, where we can create and manage keys for our animation. There's also a mini curve editor where we can deal with the curves and the animation timing. At the very bottom of the screen, we have several tool sets, such as playback tools, keying tools, and viewport navigation tools as well. In the lower left-hand corner, we have the mini listener. In here, we can type commands, such as hide shapes, or you can open up the Max Script Listener or open up the script editor where you can write extensive, robust tool sets using Max Script or Python. 